Hillary Clinton facing even more questions this morning about foreign donations to the Clinton Foundation. And that's not all. Her campaign also sparring with the Congressional Committee investigating the Benghazi attack. Let's talk about all of this with Stephanie Shirok. She's the president of Emily's List, a PAC that supports Mrs. Clinton. Nice to see you, Stephanie. Thank you. Great to be here this morning. So much as the Clinton campaign might want this book called Clinton Cash to go away, it is not. It appears to be gaining some traction. Even the New York Times is reporting on it. What's the campaign's plan to counter what it says in this book? Well, I really feel that the campaign has gotten ahead of this and gotten a lot of information out. I mean, let's just step back. The voters are too smart to fall for this right-wing conspiracy. We've got a discredited author who used to work for Karl Rove, and it's, it's like a piece of political fiction. Well, I see you got your talking points. The, <laughs> you know, yes, he has baggage, this guy, if you want yes, to look at does. him that way. But that's not the same as disproving the allegations. We're not hearing that from the campaign. They did refile their 990s. What do you make of that? Because that adds smoke to this situation that the organization that we're talking about refiled some tax reporting. Is that suspicious to you? Well, it, uh, you know, we're dealing with a massive organization who's done a, amazing work for, um, for the, those who need it the most across the world. I mean, think about the Clinton Foundation and the work that they've done. But to why refile women and girls. the ones that go to the same? You know, it's, I think what we're dealing with is just a really big bureaucratic organization. I think this book, again, has been full of a lot of already discredited pieces, and I think that's more and more going to come out. And I think we have to remember here is that this is not what the voters in this country are looking for in this campaign. They yes. want to talk about the future, the economy, what is best for their lives. And the Republicans, this is their main strategy. Let me give this our viewers, is the best strategy they have. Let me give our viewers an example from what's in the book, and this is one that the New York Times has also run with. So the New York Times is taking the book and then doing some of their own investigation. Here's one about a uranium mining company mm -hmm. bought by a Russian shareholder. Here is what it says in the New York Times today. As the Russians gradually control, oh, sorry, assumed control of Uranium One, that's the name of the company, in three separate transactions from 2009 to 2013, Canadian records show a flow of cash made its way to the Clinton Foundation. Those contributions were not publicly disclosed by the Clintons despite an agreement. Mrs. Clinton had stuck, had struck with the Obama White House to publicly identify all donors. It, you know, they can just build this narrative that she hasn't fully disclosed things, and it makes possibly voters uncomfortable. Well, I think, again, it's about what the voters are looking for here. And the Republicans have clearly made their main strategy in discrediting Hillary Clinton at every turn. You'd mentioned the Benghazi committee earlier as well. It's the same situation. They know they have to make this election about Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton knows that this election is actually about everyday Americans and what we're going to do moving this economy forward. And but you want to lead, really the character's out. always a test. I think that the line here is going to be this. These are just examples of one narrative, which is, do you come clean, the Clintons, as a machine, when you have someone asking you hard questions? Benghazi, the email servers, now the stuff about the CGI. Is that a fair criticism, that the way they handle these situations may not be as immediate and open as people want. Well, I, I would say that yes, she's been very open with everything. She, on the emails, she turned over, you know, tens of thousands of emails Deleted and others, actually though. publicly said, "Please make them public." Which, but not all. It's of them. just only the fifty-five thousand. Not well, everything that was on and the we're server. Also in a won't give them situation the where the secretary, you know, previous secretaries have had similar situations with private private email accounts. Uh, so I think she is really rolling this out. I mean, it is just one thing after the other because the strategy for the Republicans is to tear down Hillary Clinton. Uh, and what we really would like to see is some sort of proactive, uh, future-looking argument from the Republicans. But the Republicans don't have anything to offer the American people, particularly on advancing the economy, which really when we look at it, Emily's List for women voters is absolutely critical. That's why you did.